from the mountains of eastern Kentucky. We're WKYH-TV, channel 57 in Hazard, Kentucky. Now, on the debut newscast of 57 Mountain News, Monday, October 21st, 1985. Weather with Karen Park. Sports with Gary Johnson. News with Steve Crabtree. 57 Mountain News at 6. Good evening. What started as a vision for Kentucky Central Television Executive Vice President Ralph Gatt. Weather with Karen Parks. Sports with Gary Johnson. News with Steve Crabtree. 57 Mountain News at 11. TV sharing the news at home. Live. It's 57 Mountain News, Eastern Kentucky's best source of news and information. WYMT TV, sharing the news at home. This is 57 Mountain News. WYMT TV, sharing the news at home. This is 57 Mountain News with Tony Turner, Sherry Sparks. Scott Staten with sports, and Jeff Noble with weather. 57 Mountain News at 6. Good evening, I'm Neil Middleton. Tony has the night off. <laughs> Eastern Kentucky's source for news. Seven Mountain News at six. As long as we do not complain, guess what that company gets to do? Oh, they're getting the rip off. I'm Danielle Hensley. Coming up, I'll tell you about Republican candidate for governor Ernie Fletcher's biggest announcement of his campaign and his response to what he calls an attack from his opponent, Ben Chandler. And I'm Chastity Gayhart. Coming up, we'll show you how one community is educating the public about elder abuse. And after a very cool start to the morning this morning with a lot of frost across the region, will it affect our football Friday night? We'll have that a little bit later. Mountain News at 6 starts now. You're watching Eastern and Southern Kentucky's number one source for news. WYMT Mountain News at 6 starts now. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. And I'm Stacey McLeod. Leading our news tonight at 6, an increase in elderly abuse. You're watching WYMT Mountain News at 6 with Steve Hensley and Stacey McLeod. Sky Alert Weather with Jim Caldwell and Brian Milam with sports. Unlike yesterday when we were freezing, today was pretty nice out there. A perfect day to get outside. You're watching Eastern and Southern Kentucky's number one source for news with Steve Hensley and Cassie Safran. Sky Alert Weather with Jim Caldwell and Brandon Hensley with sports. Mountain News Night Watch. Officials are in disbelief after seeing what Mother Nature left behind. Governor Bashir says it is devastation unlike anything he has ever seen. Good evening, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. And I'm Neil Middleton, leading this special edition of the Weekend Mountain News. At 6, daylight brought a new look at the... Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning.
You're watching Eastern and Southern Kentucky's number one source for news. Mountain News First at Four with Steve Hensley and Skylark Weather with Shane Smith. Only four more wins to go. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Steve Hensley. First at four, the Cats will take on the Mountaineers. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning. The time is 4.59 on January 20th. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning, it's 629, I'm Will Puckett. And I'm Cassidy Strickwood. Thank you again for waking up with us on this Monday morning. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Sir? Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News first at four. Good. Dedicated to Southern and Eastern Kentucky. This is WYMT Mountain News at 530. Good evening, I'm Steve Hensley, Breathitt County's Judge Executive. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky. This is WYMT Mountain News at 6. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 6. Good evening, I'm Steve Hensley. 400. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 11. Good evening. Mountain News at 6. Well, recently we've told you Perry County Schools have set a Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 11. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News Weekend Edition. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning to you. It's a dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky. This is WYMT Mountain News First at Four. Coming up, FEMA officials continue to work in Eastern Kentucky to help people get the assistance they need. And what effects can mold have on your health? We talked to an expert about who may be at the highest risk for getting sick. Plus, shower and storm chances remain off and on tonight and as we head into tomorrow. The details on what the rest of the week and the weekend look like as well coming up as First at Four continues. Mountain News First at Four continues. Dedicated to Southern and Eastern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 5.30. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 6. To Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 6. 
And good Thursday evening. I'm Jim. The employee who died in a car crash. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 11. Good Tuesday evening to you. I'm Dakota Makris. Thank you so much. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News Weekend Edition. Good evening, I'm Keaton Hall. Pipelines running across the region busted in the flood, leaving people without water and gas for an extended period of time. WYMT.